As a business improvement district that is also a community improvement district, we consider a number of activities core to our ability to achieve our mission and to be successful on behalf of our stakeholders. The foremost of which is our clean and safe mission. We like to say here in Bidworld that you know a neighborhood is safe if it's also clean. One other very important role um, that we play within the Mount Vernon Triangle Community Improvement District is workforce development. Most of, most of our workforce development work comes in the form of our seven person clean and safe team crew of ambassadors. These individuals come to us from Central Union Mission uh, through a contract and are paid for through DSLBD to help provide some of the cleanup and other um, community safety activities that really help promote a clean, safe, and welcoming environment to individuals so that folks know that they can be safe and supported in our community. I'm Charles Allen, the Ward 6 Council Member, and proud to represent the Mount Vernon Triangle neighborhood. The clean teams are so important because they are the ambassadors throughout our community. But the, the men who serve in our clean team, uh, they do more than just help keep our communities safe and clean. Uh, they really are ambassadors for the best in our neighborhood and, um, and are somebody that, that our neighbors interact with every single day. Around the community, we are a clean and safe team. We, uh, we assist people with not only clean the streets, but we are, as far as safety, we watch out for those who are in need, those who need help, those who need assistance. And we, uh, we just care for the neighborhood that, we, that we're uh, employed in. We have a group of seven. We're a well-knit team. We all stick together in what we do, and we make sure that the neighborhood is clean and the neighborhood is safe in whatever areas we need to go to. We make sure that we take care of that area and that it is, it's up to par. Things we do in the neighborhood are we greet visitors to the city. We uh, assist those who are in, are in need of emergency help. We, we uh, do storefronts in the wintertime. We, we worked in the blizzard for the whole time the blizzard was going on. We were out there and we were cleaning those streets. Those streets, sidewalks, uh, the storefronts, the buildings, everything that we could, could clean, we cleaned. And we always kept it you know, clean and safe. You know, for those who are in the neighborhood. These individuals to whom we provide um, workforce development opportunities, uh, we really want to help them better their lives. Previous life, I was a, uh, I was a medical supply technician before uh, coming to Central Union Mission. I was homeless for a minute, and I'm, I am a former Marine. You know, first of all, I went through an 18-month program at Central Union Mission to get myself back together, you know, get my life back on track. Oh, my new home, my new home is exactly two blocks from where I grew up at. Oh, I went through looking and the Express, and uh, I found the ad that said um, $500 down, five, $600 a month for um, a, a home through Habitat. So I went and I uh, just progressed in getting, you know, through this program, and I finally got my own home. Mount Vernon Triangle has helped me in a good way. I mean, my boss, my boss, Mr. Leon Johnson, uh, my president, uh, Mr. Kenyatta Robinson, they've all been instrumental in helping me get to this point of owning my own home. And, and actually a part of me being a better person. So we couldn't do our work here within the Mount Vernon Triangle Community Improvement District without the tremendous help and support from some of our community partners. Without them, uh, we would not be able to have as many clean team members um, in our crew who really help provide the fundamental baseline work that's necessary in order to create the condition and the environment that makes Mount Vernon Triangle an attractive community to be. These gentlemen work tremendously hard um, from the top of the morning uh, to sundown um, to make sure that um, our streets are clean and that they're safe um, for everyone who chooses to come into our community or stay in our community on a full-time basis. Community residents tell us overwhelmingly in all of our surveys that the number one priority for us is our safe streets and the number two clean streets. And without the grant from DSLBD, none of that would be possible.